Today I will show you how to use the treatment dosage calculator in the XR5000. First turn the unit on and that will take you to the home screen. Then press the soft key next to settings, treatments, and then new. There are six steps in setting up a new treatment. Step one is the name. Using the alphanumeric keypad, type in the name of the treatment. And then press enter. In this example, I've created a treatment for a dewormer, and I put in a generic name of dewormer ABC. If you'd like to put in an additional description, such as a manufacturer, you can do that in the description box below. Press your down arrow on your keypad, and that will allow you to enter the text in that box. When finished, press next. Step two is defining the treatment type. Press enter, and there are four options available. Vitamin, supplement, vaccine, and drench. Choose the one that's most applicable to this treatment. In this example, I will select drench using my down arrow key. Once my option is highlighted, press enter, then press next. Step three, enter the dosage rate for this treatment. This information can be taken directly off of the product label. On the right hand side, you'll see the default option of milliliters per pound. There are other options available depending on what your treatment requires. Using your right arrow key, scroll over to that box and press enter. Then using your up and down arrow, simply select the unit of measure that's most relevant. Once you've selected your option, press enter. Then press your left arrow key. This is where you'll type in the dosage amount. And this information can be taken directly off of the product label. Next, type the dosage amount. In this example, I will type in 0 .045, enter. This treatment requires a dosage amount of 0 .045 milliliters per pound. Then press next. Step four, enter withholding periods for this treatment. This information can be taken directly off of the product label. Type in the number of days, then press enter. Using your down arrow key, scroll down type in the number of days and press enter then press next step five there are two options available the first option repeat same amount for next animal is most commonly used for vaccines in which the same amount will be dosed or administered for every animal regardless of weight the second option calculate based on animals live weight is best used for dewormers and antibiotics in this case, the scale will automatically calculate the amount to be dosed based on the animal's live weight. Using your up and down arrow keys, select the option that's most relevant. For this example, I will select option two. To enable that option, press enter. Then press next. Step six is a confirmation screen. If everything appears correct, press finish. If anything needs to be changed, press previous. Now that I've gone through the six steps in creating a new treatment, it will bring me back to the treatment screen. If you need to access this screen at a later time, you can do so from the home screen. Press settings and then treatments. If you'd like to create new treatments, press new. Once you have created these treatments, you now have the option to enable or disable these treatments as it pertains to each way session. To enable and disable a particular treatment, there are a few different ways to do this. In this example, dewormer ABC is enabled with the check mark in the box. To disable this treatment, press 0 and the check mark goes away. To enable this treatment, press 1 and the check mark will reappear. You can also toggle back and forth by pressing the enter button. or press the hide and show button on the left hand side. If you'd like to modify or delete an existing treatment, press modify or delete. Now to show you how the treatments feature works, I will take you back to the main way screen. And I will do that by pressing the way screen button found on the right hand side of the indicator. On the main way screen, you will see the treatment dewormer ABC is shown in the bottom right corner, along with other data fields that I've pre-selected, visual ID, electronic ID, breed, sex, 
average daily gain, and count. I'm now ready to show you a weighing example, so first I'll get an animal on the scale. Next, I will enter additional information for this animal. In this example, I will scan the ID tag. In the lower right corner, the scale tells me I need to administer 44 milliliters, and now I can enter the batch number. Press your right arrow key and key in the batch number. That can be taken directly off of the product label. Once you've entered the number, press enter. To the right is a repeat icon. That batch number will repeat itself until you manually override it with a new batch number. Also, notice the withholding period flashing at the top of the screen. That date is based off of the number of days that I specified during the setup process for this treatment. Now that I've collected the information, I can press record. Let the animal off the scale and the information zeroes out except for the batch number and that's because of the repeat.